Hey guys, just a quick video on viscosity. We're going to define Newtonian fluids and compare absolute or dynamic and kinematic viscosity. So looking at Newtonian fluids, here we have Newton's law of viscosity, uh, which is shear stress equal to absolute viscosity times du on dy. So absolute viscosity is this symbol here, um, and that is also called dynamic viscosity, um, and the units are kilograms per meter second or newton second per meter squared. And an easy way to remember that is through the MLT system is just M on LT. So kilograms on meters second. Uh, DU is the change in speed U. DY is the change in speed, uh, in height, sorry. Uh, it's always a bit confusing at first to wrap your head around uh, viscosity. If you consider a high, highly viscous material, it's more solid. So high viscosity means more solid, lower viscosity means it's more runny. So if you have uh, a liquid that is not viscous, it means it's infinitely runny or has no internal resistance to motion. So this term here, du on dy, is also called, called the rate of shearing. Rate of shearing strain And it's just the change in speed u on the change in speed, uh, change in height. So for Newtonian fluids, um, shear stress is directly proportional to the rate of shearing strain du on dy, and that means that mu is constant. So our absolute viscosity is a constant in Newtonian fluids. You'll uh, you'll be dealing only with Newtonian fluids in this, this subject. Um, so mu will always be a constant. Um, and for non-Newtonian fluids, mu changes with shear stress. So um, it increases or decreases according to the shear stress applied to the fluid being considered. Now we'll look at absolute and kinematic viscosity. So we know mu is our absolute viscosity. There's also kinematic viscosity, which is our mu divided by rho. This, we can work out the, the units of kinematic viscosity. So our dynamic viscosity is kilograms per meter second, and the rho is uh, the inverse of...